Oh, well, maybe I dialed it wrong. Let's try this again. I'll try it with a 1. Okay, maybe I did something wrong. 733. left messages before but that's what's going on and um, so you know they, they they're not being very responsive uh, to customer contact okay now here's the other thing that goes on that's it that's a contact at the corporation uh, you'll see in another segment here what happened when I called one of their neighbors uh, one of their corporate neighbors over here uh, there's a selection which allows uh, availability. Let's see what availability says. Okay, same thing, right? Now, when you go through the whole add to cart process, you can pay a little extra to get overnight shipping. Makes sense, right? So this looks like one of those really good pre-release deals. Um, now let's see something that would happen here. Let's look at the iPhone version. And then uh, we, we can know more and all that kind of stuff. We'll hit buy. And then, um, <clears throat> uh, let's see, we've got a cart that's opened up here. And we'll view the cart. And, of course, now it's going to have my information in there already because I, I made a purchase a few days ago. But here's the other thing that happens on shipping. If we hit shipping options... Um, let's see, I'll put a, a Portland area zip code in here. 97216 is one of the Portland area zip codes. Uh, we'll call it residential, and then we'll look at the shipping options. Um, the, uh, let's see here. Yeah, anyway. Um, Okay, and uh, let's see, I'm in Oregon. Now let's see what it does for me. Uh, yeah, here we go. And then we have um, FedEx Ground or, well, in the first day of release, they had some overday, overnight shipping uh, that was available if you were willing to pay extra. Right now, it's it's, it's got nothing on that. Uh, wish I had a coupon code. I didn't use one. I, I paid retail for it. But <clears throat> there, there's no, you know, 800 number to be in contact with anybody to verify an order. Now, when you do place an order, they're going to send you a, a, a email confirmation that there was an order placed. But um, that was a few days ago. Okay. So let's hear on the phone what else is going on. A little bit of inside information. There is a company right next door to you called Seek Thermal. Have you had any of those people in your office lately? Or, I mean, in the in the coffee shop? Are you... Yeah, yeah. So, they, I, can you tell, and if I could maybe get your permission to go on speakerphone here, um, can, can you tell if they came in to work today or if any of them are in a coffee shop right now? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, um, I have seen, I have seen people in the office, yeah. Okay, so they are in the office today? Because I, I run into a situation where I've been trying to get a hold of them and they're not answering the phone. So that's, oh, that's okay. and, and I kind of made an investment there, so I was a little worried about that. And I thought, oh, okay, there's a Green Star Coffee next door, and they yeah. would, uh, you know, they might know if the people are coming over, you know, if it's the coffee shop and that business park type of thing. Um, you know, what I can tell you right now is that uh, there's not the full amount of people that are usually here. Okay, so there's a lot of people who are not there. Yeah, and the, the parking lot's pretty full. So uh, I see the secretary store and a couple other people. Like okay, so there's a lot of people who are not there right now. And yeah, it's... Right. it's 
and and it's normal for a lot of people to be there on a Monday. Oh, right. I, I'm just like saying in general. I mean, it's not a holiday weekend. There's no local thing going on. It would would have caused this to be a holiday weekend, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, they could all be at a meeting somewhere else. For all I know. Right. You know, I don't know. I don't know what their staff does. I just know their secretary because I'm here. Yeah. Right okay. And then roughly, because I can't seem to get a Google Street View on that, about how I mean. How, how big is that place? Is it your, your just your basic little business park office, or is it like a whole section of the place, or or can you? Um, I think they got a pretty good chunk. Um, I've never gotten a chance to walk all the way around there. Right. Or walk around in there, but um, I mean, it's pretty big. I mean, it's got a lot of different stuff going on. Um, you know, they got thirty people on there. Oh, okay. So it's it's a real business. It's not like two guys in an office or no, something. No, no, no. Oh, okay. So they've got like a, a trucking thing out back. If they were shipping product, you'd see trucks yeah. coming and going, that sort of thing. It's it's big enough to do that. It's just not two guys in an office. Yeah, they have. I think they have two roll-up doors and three back doors. Okay, so it's it's a real place with real stuff. It just yeah, that for cool. some some reason they didn't show. Not too many people showed up today. Um, what I can tell you. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay, so there you have it. Um, there, uh, Green Star Coffee is apparently not a coffee shop. It's it's like a coffee wholesaler or something like that. Uh, Seek Thermal. If you heard what you could on that, I'm I'm not going to identify. I'm just going to say it's whoever answered the phone. And uh, but it's from a neighbor up there. So it's a company where they took a lot of orders on the release date for their merchandise uh, a few days ago it's Monday morning or actually Monday around noon and not, not a lot of people showed up to work okay there's not a lot going on now, I don't know why they would have a vacation day immediately this would be one of the busy, busiest days of a business if uh, the situation was for real I called uh, Discover I called a credit card company to find out what's going on and apparently they have not charged my account they just kind of put a hold on the money and so at this point you know, one of the reasons I get really sensitive about this is because there's a lot of businesses out of the uh, the Silicon Valley area that are borderline criminal uh, their, their main purpose is to burn up investor money pump and dump on a stock and it's it's borderline it's not necessarily a straight up criminal act but you know when we look at outfits like um, uh, Solyndra uh, there's a lot of people who consider what they do to be normal to burn up investor money and run away and so I I'm a little unhappy with I guess I could have done a little more uh, uh, research on this but uh, I'm a little unhappy with the situation of a big release date and then no product going anywhere and when your warehouse people don't go to work on the days that something like that is going on then you know that kind of tells me something when you, you've only got a couple of cars in a parking lot and that sort of things happening 